whole idea of a fly is to trick the prey as it imitates an aquatic insect or tiny fish, the perfect bait. The fly maker starts by placing a hook in a vise. Using a tool called a bobbin holder, he winds a wax nylon thread carefully and tightly around the shank of the hook, then cuts off the excess. This fly will simulate a moth-like insect called a caddis. This is a primary food source for the trout. The flymaker first attaches a special synthetic yarn to create the tail. And secures it along the middle of the hook. then takes another synthetic material called dubbing to create the body and spins the dubbing between his fingers onto the thread. The wax on the thread helps it adhere. Then he folds some yarn over the dubbing and attaches it with more nylon thread and cuts off the excess. Good fishing flies not only look like the real thing, they also act like it, mimicking the insect's natural movements. When a caddis pupa is ready to transform into an adult, it swims to the surface of the water. Then it deploys its wings. The shimmering yarn on this fake caddis will give the illusion of the air bubbles this voyage to the surface creates. To simulate the wings, the flymaker uses dubbing made of deer fur. He cuts off the long, coarse hairs known as guard hairs then places them into a device called a hair stacker. All the hairs are now evenly aligned. The hairs are measured to create the right length for the fly's wings. He then attaches it, leaving a portion sticking out of the front to form the insect's head. Next he uses a tool called a whip finisher to tie a sturdy knot made of several loops. This caddis fly is now ready to trick a trout. There are thousands of styles of flies, according to the type of fish being caught and what it feeds on. Flymakers use many types of natural and synthetic dubbins to form and decorate their flies. Feathers, animal hairs, metals and plastics, often dyed in brilliant colours. Using a fly won't always snag you the catch of the day, but if you manoeuvre the fly to make realistic movements in the water, the fish usually buys it. Hook, line and sinker. <laughs>